Hi everyone, welcome to The Naked Ask, a little raw talk about all things to do with the power of asking. I'm Dia Bondi, longtime communications coach and nonprofit auctioneer for nonprofits that benefit women and, girl, and girls, and um, creator of the program Ask Like an Auctioneer, where I help you ask for more and get it using everything I know and learn from the world of auctioneering. So um, today I want to talk to you about um, one woman's quest to change everything with one ask. Um, I had a coaching session with a woman I'll call T, and I want to do a little spotlight on what she did and let you know how she made her ask the things she did to make the most powerful ask that got her the best yes she could possibly hope for. So here's how it goes. She was, um, um, this woman was looking to make a big change in her life. She was a lighting engineer for an architecture firm and wanting to move into real estate. The stakes were really high for her because she was going to ask her employer to renegotiate the terms of their, the terms of their um, employment status so that she could have more room in her week to, to, um, to, to, to invest in her in her real estate business. So she was going from a full-time employment to um, she was asking for a half-time employment on an independent contractor basis at a very at a significantly higher hourly rate than she got as an as um, an in-house employee. Um, the stakes were really high, meaning if she got a no when she and they said you either stay as is or you have to go, she was gonna feel like that was potentially going to thwart her future and her goals to make a transition in her career. Um, and those are the perfect kinds of conditions for us to shrink our ask so small that we're for sure going to get a yes, but it's not really the yes that we need or want in order to reach our goals. But she didn't do that. She held strong. She asked for what she wanted, and she ended up um, she ended up with a yes that worked for both of them. So here are the three things she did. One, she realized she didn't have to sell herself, meaning she didn't over-explain her ask. She just got right to it. She assumed mutual value and went straight for the ask. That was a huge skill. That's a huge thing I see us do is over explain the asks that we're about to make to the point where we basically take the oxygen out of the ask. And then the focus of the conversation is whether the explanation was good or not, not whether the ask was the right thing to ask for at that moment for the thing that the thing that's on the table. So number two, she was she willingly stepped into her Zofo. And if you don't know what the Zofo is, I'll just say that it is the zone of freaking out. It is the it is the place we go when we ask big enough to really kind of um, have have the stakes feel high for us. So um, and third, she created and before she went into the ask, she created a real map for her ask, meaning she really examined what is it that I'm asking for and what are the terms all around it? Um, what am I asking for in terms of hourly rate? What am I asking for in terms of hours worked? What am I um, What am I saying yes to them that I can do to help make, uh, make the yes easier? What is my offer and what is my reserve? What if they say no? Then what, what my plan is? And having a really comprehensive map, a, an ask plan. She w- went into the ask more empowered and more confident than she would if we had just kept the, um, just kept the the ask sort of uh, with less of a 360 view of what it really entails. So I'd like to share with you the email, follow-up email she sent to me, and it went like this. She said, thank you for meeting with me last week, uh, or last month. I want to give you a follow-up. We discussed me asking my company to let me drop to 20 hours per week as an independent contractor at a rate much higher than my current hourly rate. I just finished meeting with the owner of my company and my direct boss, and I used as much of the stuff you gave me as possible. Yay! Um, And they gave me everything I asked for, even my rate. The rate I asked for was squarely in my Zofo. They offered me $5 an hour less than I was going to ask for, so I said said to them what I was actually going to ask for, and they said, okay, that sounds good. So much for the no, she says. I really thought I was in the no range, but it turns out that I could have asked for even more. And that being said, I did it. I tur- And it turned out great. Your advice was a huge help. One thing you said that really stayed with me was that I didn't need to sell myself. That was so true. I didn't need to sell myself. They, they already had 10 years of a proven track record for me, and they were very glad I wasn't committing. So T, congratulations to you. One powerful, confident ask that has changed everything. Um, and I want to say congratulations to all of you who might be watching 
who will be making courageous asks this week. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter, all at Dia Bondia. DM me any of your questions, and I'll um, I'll use those in my Q and A. Answer them in my Q and A on Mondays uh, on my IGTV channel. And I, um, if you're not on my list, you can get on my list. You get special offers throughout the summer. You can do that by texting the word ask to six six eight six six. And um, here is your inquiry for today. What is it that you need in order to make a powerful ask? Okay, have a great day.